eye on. So let's just say we're in a nice half guard situation where he's got an underhook or whatever. Okay, first things first, I don't want to make um, keep myself flat here. Generally, when I'm in half guard and my partner does a really good job locking their legs up here and they have an underhook, is I pivot my hips like this. So my left knee is pushing into his hip pocket and I can use my legs to walk and dictate this space, okay? Now, there's two ways I'm going to show you this pass depending on how my left arm is positioned, okay? So the first one, I like to reach over top and I don't drop my elbow to the mat. So I find if I drop my weight too much, I may get swept, especially if he takes this half guard and positions it to an inside step where he can kick and use his underhook, okay? So when I'm here and I'm in half guard, say I just get here, I'll probably be on this side, but look how I pivot my hips and I use my hands. So now when he tries to lift me, there's a block with my left arm and my legs are moving around. So now when James is, is here and I reach over his head, I'll pull his head back with straight structure. This will now allow me when he's locked up tight to reach inside of his leg, okay? And I can use my left hand as a post to lift just ever so slightly and sit on my hip. So now if he moves, you can see my left leg is creating a wall. So if he tries to kick into me, that leg is blocking that I should be when he kicks and opens, able to pull my leg out. But now I don't want to stop there. I want to grab his ankle, build height, step over top. Now I start to apply the cross face and my right hand into his back and I started applying my folk style wrestling or general wrestling on the mat, okay? Rather than pinning my partner with say jujitsu and cross faces here, I'm just basically bending the shit out of his back, making it uncomfortable, wearing my partner out. And then if I want to get him to his back, I can just lift my right leg, dump him over, control his wrists. Okay, so let's go back. So you guys are in half guard, so you initially get there. And this time I'm still gonna pivot my hips, but I'm gonna keep the cross face and I try not to go across his head, but I line my arm up near his neck. And when I put pressure into him, my bicep and my shoulder are digging into his neck. Now I find it doesn't work as well, this style, um, unless I'm doing gi where I can start to bunch up the collar, but this is fine. Okay, so I'm here, I'm gonna reach underneath. Let's say this time though, when I wedge my shin in, he doesn't open his legs up. Okay, so I'm here and I'm driving into my partner, but because my knee's up, it's still hard for him to knock me back. So I'll take my left leg and I'll try to go on top of his thigh and I'll press to bring my leg out. I'll still reach over top, pulling and hipping out, picking over his leg, trying to punch my underhook and now getting to mount and then punching his arm up, making it harder for him to hip escape. Okay, so last time, we'll go back to the first one. I think it's better. So you guys are here. You land in half guard, I switch and pivot my hips. So I have good balance control. It's hard for my partner to do anything. I'm also hiding my left leg. So he's not reaching under it, trying to put me in an electric chair. So I'm here, I'm pivoting. I'll reach over his head and I'll bend his spine. I'm still able to build height. I'll reach underneath of his leg and I'll scoop up. I can build height now to get my wedge in front. Let's just say he opens his legs up. I can pull my leg out. I slide over to the end of the lever on the ankle. I'll pick over top and I'll be here. It's like a dope mount. If he keeps his underhook and he tries to sit up, it's still really easy just to lift my partner, chest pressure, and then get to mount. And then I can reach back if I need to, punch his arms up and get to a dominant position. Okay guys, one, two.